I call it an uh, emotional object. It has a purpose, but it's not a functional purpose. We've been around for a while. We have this company for like 17 years. First, we were more hardcore industrial design, but we, we really wanted to make something ourselves. It was actually like five years ago. We just uh, had a creative awakening. Kind of like a um, desire to work without specification or a fixed set of rules. We flipped out and made things that we had on our mind for a long time. It was a liberating feeling, really, really important for us. We pretty much do everything together, like uh, sketches and ideas and making a 3D model. We have some discussions, you could say, like verbal fights uh, about everything every detail but in the end uh, the most important thing is that what comes out is something that we both are happy about and this is our uh, new lamp uh, we call it uh, Habba Baba cast in jasmineite in our workshop It started like we wanted to do a sculpture. Like a Rodin version of a lamp. Yeah, and we just uh, started to sculpt uh, a shape with fingerprints and with small pieces of wax. And then it, uh, something happened between the ordinary shape and, and with the uh, hands-on sculpting on it. You can see all the fingerprints in the final result. It gives an ironic uh, take on, on this classic shape and just twist it by making another surface on it and that is very personal and very hands-on. Since we made the decision to make uh, our things ourselves, we needed a location where we could be all night if we wanted to. It's an old printing house. They used to print school books in here. So it's a lot of concrete and pillars and nice ceiling and a lot of light. I think now we are bolder. We trust our instincts a lot. We both need something that is poking the ordinary uh, take on products. I think we, we need that kick out of things. I think we are going to use this sense of free and creative feeling for a long time.